Hi friends, Shayla here. So it's time for another episode of Try 3. So in this series, what I do is I read the first three volumes of manga in a series and let you guys know whether I'm going to continue on with the series, whether I'm not going to, or just kind of my general thoughts. So this is kind of a manga first impressions on steroids, I guess you'd say, because it's three volumes instead of just one, like a typical manga first impressions. So today's series is going to be Ranma half or Ranma one half. I, people pronounce it both ways, so I don't know what's technically correct. So this is a series by the amazing Rumiko Takahashi. And this one, I believe there's body swapping where like a guy becomes a girl and a girl becomes a guy if I remember right I'm not 100% sure I don't know too much about this so I'm going in kind of blind I found these amazing first printings I found volume 6 through 10 at my local used bookstore and then on eBay I found the first five so I'm really excited to dive in and give these a try and these first editions are actually flipped so they read like an American comic rather than a manga volume. So these are flipped. So a lot of people don't like this first printing because it's flipped, but I thought the covers were absolutely adorable and I really wanted to read it in this edition, especially since I found the others so inexpensively. So yes, I am genuinely excited here to give these a try. So I'm going to read probably the first chapter of volume one and then I'll come back and give you guys more of a detailed description about what's going on with the story. Okay so I've read the first chapter of Ranma and it's we're following a character named Ranma and for some reason they swap back and forth between being male and female. It seems like through a bath or certain times of the day I'm not 100% sure how it works yet I'm sure that will all be explained in the next chapter. But anyways, Ranma goes and takes a bath and ends up coming out male instead of female in their body type. And it's interesting because Ranma is supposed to be coming to this dojo with three daughters and finding a fiance. And so there's now this crux of Ron was supposed to get a fiance out of the deal and there's three girls to pick from but Ranma keeps going back and forth between male and female so how this is all gonna work I don't know but I'm loving the art it's very Takahashi and so yes I'm gonna get some answers and read a little bit more and talk to you guys soon okay mystery has been solved so it's they went Ranma and their dad went to a training springs and they both landed in cursed springs so his dad um the dad of Ranma turns into a panda anytime they land in cold water and Ranma turns into a girl with cold water and they both change back with hot water so that's kind of the mechanics behind everything and so yeah, this is gonna be an adventure, so we'll see what happens. We've got Akane and Rama officially engaged to each other at this point, I guess. Akane shows up to school, and apparently all of the boys want to fight her because if they beat her, they get to ask her out, including this upperclassman who really wants to be with Akane, apparently. And so Ranma challenges this guy and they put on a pretty good show and a pretty good fight. And the ridiculousness of this is pretty high level. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the rest of the volume plays out. But the shenanigans are definitely high in this series. So unless you're looking for a lot of shenanigans, this might not be the series for you. I feel like Inuyasha has some of the same humor, but it's still more serious than this one so far. This just feels like a fun exploration for Takahashi, and it's kind of fun. I can't lie. I'm going to keep going. Oh, no. Kuno just declared his love for the female Ranma. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. We went there fast. I figured we'd get there eventually, but seriously, man, that was fast. Ooh. 
Okay, let's go. Okay, so I have officially finished the first volume of Ranma one half, Ranma half, whatever you want to say it. And I really thought it was fun. This is just fun shenanigans. You shouldn't take this series seriously at all. And it's just really fun. Um, Akane and Rama are starting to understand one another a little bit better. And it's actually getting kind of sweet. But it's also still really funny. And the dad, Rama's dad turning into a panda. There's lots of funny jokes with him. And the whole concept is just really a lot of fun. We did have an old rival of Rama's pop back up for a minute. And it was apparently all over curry bread. Like, it's just shenanigans and fun. So, yeah. Anyways, so far so good. I am about to dive into volume two. Um, I don't know if I'll stop too much while I read volume two. I felt like with this first volume I had to stop a little bit more because I was a little bit mind blown on some of the shenanigans and the, the silliness of it. But yeah, if you don't take this series too seriously, like it's just a lot of fun so far. Alrighty, so I just finished volume two of Ranma One Half and I feel like it's just getting crazier and I'm kind of just enjoying the shenanigans of this series. So essentially in this one, I, I'm calling it the sports volume. So we have um, rhythmic gymnastics and ice skating that we're dealing with, different storylines and people who fall in love with Ranma and Everybody just wants Ranma. It's like this weird kind of harem, but I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> I mean, we have a clear winner of who Ranma will end up with, at least at this point. So everybody else just coming along and interrupting and being shenanigans and stuff. And there's an almost kiss at the end of this volume between Ranma and Akane, and that was kind of fun. But Ranma also has a kiss stolen from them, and it's just shenanigans galore so if you're looking for a really fun series this is a great one because as long as you go into this expecting it to be ridiculous like the, then you'll be really pleased and really enjoy it I've really enjoyed the first two volumes I've got volume three right here so I'm gonna dive right in and the first two volumes in this printing for whatever reason are a lot thicker than the rest of the volumes. The rest of the volumes are closer to this size. So I don't know why these ones were longer, but man, I'm having a good time. I'm gonna dive into volume three because we need to wrap up the ice skating arc and I'm not sure what else we'll run into in this one. But at the very least, we're gonna deal with the ice skating thing. So I'm excited. Alrighty, so I finished volume three of Ranma one half. And again, we ended up with ridiculous shenanigans. Um, we finished up the ice skating arc <laughs> little story. And then we met Shampoo, as we'll call her. And she was basically this girl from China that female Ranma had offended somehow, but she fell in love with male Ranma, so it caused all sorts of problems. And that, little story finishing up was the end of this volume. So all in all, I'm going to keep reading because this sure is a lot of fun right now. So yes, Ron my one half. I'm definitely going to keep going. If you can find volumes of this, I do believe that there are omnibuses currently in print, if I remember correctly. Um, but yes, I do plan on continuing on with reading this one. And this has been a really fun experiment. 
and this was just a really fun read for me. So I do recommend checking out Ranma if you haven't. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have other suggestions for this Try 3 series, let me know in the comments down below. I do have my next series picked out already, but I'm always looking for new suggestions and things to try that you guys want me to try and I can tell you whether I think they're worth it or not. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.